Uh, my name is David Firestein. There's no question that this city is in crisis. 135 murders last year, not counting the ones committed by the police and permitted by this body. Already a half dozen murders this year and other assorted violent crime and property crime is on the rise. Where we live, which is undoubtedly unlike where you live, gunshots are a regular occurrence. But given the problem of violence, we have many possible solutions. We could nurture the community, strengthen the schools, protect the homes of people in financial trouble, feed those who are hungry, clothe those who are cold, shelter those who lack houses. But this is not the solution you've chosen. The solution you've chosen again and again and again is more violence, mm -hmm. more police, more foreclosures to clear space for new condos and businesses, more gang injunctions, more crackdowns on misdemeanors to clear up your pretty new projects like Novi. <laughs> all that violence didn't actually make violence go away when the problem of violence, both that deemed criminal by the courts and that of the police, which has been deemed insane by the people of Oakland and even a federal judge, actually got worse. OPD stepped it up a notch and announced that they needed even more money than the millions they already receive in normal budgeting, plus the millions they, by which I mean we, since they don't pay a single goddamn penny of it, pay out in settlements every year. By the way, I noticed the next city council agenda had uh, two more cases that we're settling, uh, but since those are only tens of thousands, I guess they don't really even merit much discussion. Uh, they want more money now in order to bring in Bill Bratton. When I heard that this was the solution the city had and the police had crafted, I assumed it was a practical joke. After all, how could a city that had just been told in no uncertain terms that it had to bring to an end its racial profiling bring in a man who proposed to do exactly the opposite? How could a city that has faced unending and well-merited criticism over its failure to properly and honestly report police data Bring in the man who champions CompStat, the Mr. program that has become synonymous with police boosting stats and manipulating numbers. Mr. Firestone, is there someone that would like to cede you time? I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Okay, one more minute, sir. Surely it has to be a joke. And yet here we are, without so much as a conversation with the community, in the same week that Judge Henderson is trying to choose a compliance director. We're expected to simply pay out more money for a man who spits in the face of any progress that could actually be made. Recently, Bill Bratton compared stop and frisk to chemotherapy. To him, we're a cancer-riddled body, a mass of diseased cells that need to be crushed. In the first year Bratton was chief of the NYPD, the number of people fatally shot by the police went up 34%. 34 Four percent. Chemotherapy is poison. He proudly announces that he intends to poison us. He wants us to smile as he tells us that he intends to inject our community with the poison of police violence, yeah. with the poison of zero tolerance policing, with the poison of, 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 of more officer involved killings. And it's easy for him to smile, because in this metaphor it won't be him, or Mayor Kwan, or Deanna Santana, or Chief Jordan, or any of you that will be stopped and frisked. Mr. It'll Fire, be stop. us. Again, I have to ask you. I'll seed my time. Like I'll seed my time. He wants us to smile because as he sells it, and I do mean sells it, it's only the bad people and those who shelter them that will be punished. Well, I'm not goddamn smiling. The family of Alan Bluford isn't goddamn smiling. Yeah. The families of so many others who've been shot by the police, beaten by the police, falsely imprisoned by the police, followed by the police, intimidated by the police, harassed by the police, they're not goddamn smiling. The people of Oakland aren't goddamn smiling. <laughs> On Monday, Chief Jordan addressed the media to talk about the murders that have rocked our city so far this year, and he ended with a quote from Dr. King, whose birthday is today. He said, quote, violence brings only temporary victories. Violence, by creating many more social problems than it solves, never brings permanent peace. It seems to me that the irony was lost on him. I don't normally make requests of the city council because, to be frank, I don't respect you or your authority. <laughs> Is there another person that I will. Yes. 
I need a name. Tess Unger. Unger? Unger, Unger U-N-G-E-R. But I'm asking you now to say no to Bill Bratton, or you will reap a whirlwind the likes of which this city has never seen before. Quote, returning violence for violence multiplies violence, adding deeper darkness to a night already devoid of stars. But Malcolm X said, I don't advocate violence, but if a man steps on my toes, I'll step on his. You decide what's coming next.